Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be done in two parts. We're going to have two videos here. The first tutorial is going to be how to create a unique list from a filtered table. And then the second part, which will be a separate video, will be how to use two sets of filtered lists in a count ifs function to use those as the criteria for the count ifs. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have a table here, and if we check, the table name is customers. And I have a list of companies, locations, various employees, and annual sales. And on the filters tab, I'm just using the unique function with the table name and the column name to give me a unique list of companies and of locations. But if I go ahead and filter this table, let's say I want to eliminate the first three of the companies and maybe locations. I'll get rid of Atlanta and Cleveland and just show Detroit and Pittsburgh. When I go back to the filters table, it still shows all the companies and all four locations. It does not remove from the unique list any of the ones that I filtered out. So if I expand these columns, you see that I was able to accomplish filtering out the three company names and the two locations. So how did we do that? Well, the formulas to do that are right here. We use the unique function, the filter function, subtotal, offset, and two row functions. Now it looks a little complicated, but it's really not that difficult. So we're gonna walk through that to show you how that was done. And I'm gonna focus on the locations formula since there's less number of items there and it'll be easier to explain. So we're wrapping this in a, the unique function, which makes sense but because we want a unique list. And we also need to filter that list by some criteria. So in my filter function, the array is customer's location. What to include, which is the key here, is using the subtotal offset and row functions. Now the subtotal functions, if I type equals subtotal, it returns a subtotal in a list or database. And the first argument is a function number. And there's 1 through 11, and then there's 101 through 111. And we're going to use option number 3, which is counta. But there is also option number 103, which is also counta. Now the difference is that 1 through 11 includes manually hidden rows, while 101 through 111 excludes them. But in our case, the key here is that filtered out cells are always excluded. Notice this says manually hidden rows are included with 1 through 11, and they're excluded here. But we don't have manually hidden rows. We have filtered out rows, and those are always excluded. The subtotal function ignores any rows that are not included in the result of a filter. And so that is how we're able to accomplish our task here. So back to the formula, <clears throat> what I'm doing is using the offset function, and I will include a, a link down below in the notes as to how to use the offset function. I'm not going to explain it here. But basically, the offset function starts at the upper left corner of our table, and then I need to use the list of locations, but not the actual list. 
I need to use the row numbers of that list. So what I've done here is take the row numbers of the customer location, which you can see is rows 2 through 52 because row 1 is the header. And I've subtracted from that row 1. So if I highlight that and hit F9, you see it just generates a 1. So in essence, in the offset function, the rows, hit F9 here, is rows 1 through 51. However, the subtotal function will remove anything that's filtered out. So if I select the include in my filters function, you'll see that there's just a series of zeros and ones. Zeros is where I've filtered out those locations or those customers, either one, that I don't want to include and the ones are the ones that are not filtered out. So if we take that list and apply it to the customer locations, what we'll end up getting here is just Pittsburgh, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Detroit, Pittsburgh, etc. Because subtotal has eliminated or excluded any items that are filtered out. Now when you apply the unique function to that list, you only get the items that are left, in this case, Pittsburgh and Detroit. And that's how you can do this in Excel. Now remember, the next tutorial that I'm going to do will show how to take and use both of these multiple criteria items in a count ifs function in order to count something based on various criteria. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and happy excelling.